ዱቲ ዋንዴ ማጅሩ ካና ራስቲ ጥቀሽ ወዳይስን ኢፍሱዳፍ ሐሳዋ ቀበኒ ኢትናዲያ ደርስ ኒንጃ ከበጃዳን ቢስሚላሂ ረህማን ረሂም ማርከ ሆሬዋን ኡማት አልነየ ፍርስት አም አይ ውድ ላይክ ቱ ቱ ቱንክ ብራዘር ጀዋር መሐመድ ቱ ማይ ፍርስት ዴይ ሚቲንግ ሂም አንድ አንድ ኢትስ ኦነር ዊ አር ሂር ቱዴይ ቱ ቱ ሴንድ አወር ኮንዶሌንሰስ ዶስ our brothers and sisters who are being killed on the conflict between uh the Oromos and Somali community and the uh the area that they 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 share um we believe we don't have borders but we do have administration lines um and that administration um you know uh, lines between the uh, Somalis and Oromo there is a conflict going on so we are here today to uh to send our condolences to our people uh Uh, who actually live together on that area of Ethiopia. Um thank you brother for coming. I I think the uh, renewed conflict is a very uh, a sad development. Uh, hundreds of people have been killed over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the situation is uh, getting worse. Uh the information we have is that uh, the uh, perpetrators, the people who are planning this conflict have a longer plan to cause more deaths across not only across the border but also in Kenya in in Somalia in Djibouti in a, to engulf the situation uh, their objective is to uh, distract us from pushing the ongoing reform and change uh, in Ethiopia i would like to give you an opportunity to discuss uh, what the cause of uh, this problem uh, actually is because um, uh, you just came back uh, from Finfinne Uh why did you guys go there as Dulmi did explain to people what Dulmi did is <coughs> and what you guys did in Finfinne how the government received you guys and also uh, what do you think is the cause of the renewed conflict across the border Um uh, first of all um you know the images that we saw on the social media uh it's really um uh, heartbroken and our hearts actually goes to the uh, families who have been killed we have seen the uh, children women and uh, elderly being killed on both sides and that has to stop and the federal government have uh, moral res- and the also legal responsibility to protect uh, its citizens um this conflict we believe has been uh, seeded uh, planted on the seeds a long time ago um last um you know we can say 3 4 years when uh you know the, there was a conflict on that area um uh, the conflict actually caused uh by the um the, we believe the uh the former uh, officials of the government and the current actually officials on the government uh, when i say that uh this seed has been planted on the two actually um to uh to make that the the uh, people i mean brotherly people uh, brothers oromos and somalis um uh, to kill each other so the um the the federal government can do uh, to have a free hand to do whatever they want and also um to uh to to cause more atrocities as we had um last um last week i believe abdil said that the i was being ordered by uh the you know the federal official especially getacho asafa uh, to commit the at- atrocity against my people um he actually he was receiving orders not only uh, to commit atrocities against his people but also the neighbors of uh you know uh, Ethiopians on uh, which we share a border a long border and this uh, problem is actually working um as they planned uh they were planning if something uh the government should change uh to explode on the on their face actually on the new government and and it's it did actually explode on their uh on, on the face of uh, Dr. Abiy Ahmed uh, our prime minister his his excellency um we know that he sent the Ethiopian federal troops yesterday to um to that area um but we believe it's a uh, little bit too late i would not say too little uh, but i will say too late uh the reason i'm saying that is uh, this conflict has been going on for a while the prime minister was in, in power I believe last 3 or 4 months now and we've been and as a dulmedid we've been warning that uh Abdi Ile and his uh bosses are, are planning actually to uh create more havoc and problems as we know uh, last year a uh, minimum of 1 million uh, our brothers and sisters oromo has been kicked out from their homes 
uh, in Jigjiga and other cities of uh, Somali region, and which actually that the it's uh, supposed to never happen because no one can actually uh, displace or kick out any Ethiopian from their home, regardless of their ethnicity or religion. Um, and the government, the federal government, were silent or complicit actually at that time. Because we remember when uh, Abdi Ile was doing this atrocity and kicking out people from their homes, the federal army was escorting, escorting people actually from Jigjiga to, to Harar. Um, they were saying that we're protecting them, but they're su supposed to actually protect in their homes and never allow Abdi Ile to do that. That is the, one of the problems which is causing today on this atrocity. And, uh, and I would like to say from the other side of our brothers on the uh, Oromo um, people, we should not actually help on uh, people who plan this problem to uh, work for them. Therefore, we need to stop uh, fighting. And especially, I would like to talk to the Keros and the other uh, people actually who help Ethiopian people to uh, to get to regain their freedom, um, that they need to protect the the fruits. Actually, they um, the, their victory, uh, our all victory, and these fruits we have today to protect. We need to protect to protect the peace that we have. We need to keep the peace uh, in order to make you know the 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 uh, the. the the, the programs that Dr. Abi is uh, trying to do uh, to make it a uh, reality and happen. So, um, uh, you, you, you are part of, you are chairman of the Dudlimidi uh, group. Uh, I'm not a chairman, but a member. Oh, you are a member. Uh, so, you guys were in Addis Ababa uh, for uh, some time last month. Why did you guys go? How did the government uh, people receive you? And I think you were kidnapped. What happened overall? Uh, uh, thank you, thanks for asking me that question. Um, I am the, one of the founders of Dul Medid, an executive uh, committee of uh, Dul Medid. Uh, Dul Medid means the meaning, um, I think in English, will be uh, not a ty tyrant. Mm -hmm. we, um, we stood up to be um, a voice for a voiceless of our people. And actually, uh, Dul Medid was founded a few years ago but we become active last year. Uh, we don't know that this, um, we know that the, the struggle were going on in Ethiopia, especially in Oromia and, um, and Amara region. Uh, we we don't know it. we will get results as quick as we get, but we uh, decided to actually oppose what Abdi Ile is doing to our people. And also we were warning that the, he will create a problem, a longer uh, problem to our people since he's doing actually bidding for his bosses to, um, to evict and to make a refugee people in their own homes. Uh, Dul Medid is a, um, a social movement organization uh, um, from Ethiopian Somali community. Uh, uh, was founded actually in Sweden, Europe. Um, and we had our first meeting in Sweden last year. Uh, but mainly it's uh, Ethiopian Somali community on the, on the diaspora. Um, uh, eventually, after Abiy Ahmed became the, uh, the Prime Minister, um, actually Dul Medid uh, took hold um, on, on back home. Uh, we went to Finfine, um, I believe we, uh, before we go to Finfine, we, um, we, uh, we had a meeting here and uh, we decided to go and see the new Prime Minister so we can actually uh, tell, uh, tell him the, our grievances on what Abdi Ilay was doing that time. Uh, as you maybe some of you remember, Adul Medid they actually was the um, you know they, there was a meeting on on Minneapolis on May seventh, and the ambassador of Ethiopia was here, and Adul Medid was actually who uh, told him that he cannot force us, Abdi officials, to be part of the meeting. Um, when he insisted, actually we um, we kick out uh, the Abdi officials, and eventually. We kick out the ambassador, and the reason was, uh, you know, the people who uh, committed an atrocity in our back home were coming here freely, and also intimidating our people here in the United States. And uh, we will we've been in touch with uh, 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 American uh, federal government, and we told them what Abdi people were doing here, 
we try to uh, negotiate the ambassador not to actually bring them inside the meeting, but he insisted that he, they will be part of, and then we decided actually to kick him out. Um, this is ambassador in Washington, D.C.? Yes. Casa Taklabrahan? Casa Taklabrahan. Yeah. And it was May 7th, and it was the, all over the media. Mm. Um, when we went to Finfinne, I believe he was, he sent some information to the federal government that the Dulmedid is coming. So we suspect, the reason I took that, the um, uh, tell you the, the May 7th meeting was, we believe Kastik al is part of the, uh, he's the, maybe the reason that the, our elderly, elderly in, in Finfine and the Dulmedid uh, actually uh, chairperson and the others in, in Finfine that we did not meet the prime minister. We believe he has to do something. He, he have something to, to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, when we were in, in Finfine, we met all most of the Ethiopian uh, federal government ministers, um, including the defense minister, who is a very good guy. I believe his name is Mat Matom. Matumma. 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 Mm -hmm. um, he, he actually uh, he uh, welcomed us in his office, and he gave us an ample time to discuss what's going on in our region. And he told us that the federal government is trying their best to actually to, uh, to make the life easier for our people. We met also at, at the, the federal uh, affairs minister in Ethiopia. Um, I believe uh, the, his name is Mr. Kabere Chane. Yeah. Um, and when we were discussing on the problem that <coughs> Our region is actually, um, uh, and uh, the president of the region created, and that we told him on that day that this problem will come back, and when we were discussing him, how many uh, our brothers and sisters of Oromos has been actually displaced and kicked out their homes. Um, we told him uh, more than a million, and he said, no, 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 it's about 400,000. And 160 from the uh, uh, Somali people from the Oromo region, so it's roughly around 500, in a kind of uh, dismissive way. Mm -hmm. So we believe um, the, you know, the federal government, especially the ministers, are not doing enough on their part to actually to uh, bring people. We, uh, we told him that time uh, the best way to avoid a conflict is to bring back people where they used to live and to try to work on, uh, on bring back uh, the harmony that the people actually used to have. Um, he said he will pass our message to the, to the Prime Minister, but we never had a chance actually to meet the Prime Minister. Okay. You were kidnapped. What happened? Um, <coughs> it was uh, May 30th um, uh, after we actually, we knew that Abdelay was trying his best uh, to um, actually get some of us uh, to kidnap and to take us to Jigjiga and to, to, to his uh, torture uh, chambers in jail of Garden. We know we knew that he was sending people, but we were trying to, uh, we, uh, to be you know, a safe side. To, we were not actually uh, going alone. or So we were in a group, and it was a Ramadan when we actually uh, went to get a fut, our futur. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a guy that I believe that Abdi sent, and his name is uh, Cornell. Uh, Hassan uh, Hassan Abdi and his name nickname is Hassan Gabre, a full colonel of Ethiopian mm -hmm. army. The federal force or the federal force? Federal mm -hmm. force. Mm -hmm. um, he he kidnapped me from there at uh, you know at gunpoint and uh, it was all over the news. Um, and, and I want to thank to uh, Ethiopian federal government who uh, re uh, you know work on that night on my release and rescue. Where did he take you after kidnapping you? Uh, he took me uh, a lot of, you know, uh, dark places in Addis Ababa. He was driving around. Mm -hmm. He was talking uh, constantly to someone. Uh, there is another guy actually who was with him and they were talking in, in Oromo, or Fan Oromo. Mm -hmm. So first I thought, this guy is an Oromo and maybe he's not bad as <laughs> I, I thought. And uh, he was asking me questions, who are you? And you know, when I told him, that uh, my name is Kadar, Kadar Adan, I'm from United States. Actually, that's when he uh, pulled his pistol and put on my head, and he, he forced me to put in his uh, brand new SUV, actually. He's that guy's driving a 10 million bir SUV, and we believe he get from Abdile or his, his, his bosses. He was working uh, that time, you know, the state of emergency was in place, 
and uh, the guy who is assistant of, uh, I believe, General uh, Gabriel. Gabriel Dilla. Gabriel Dilla, yes. Um, um, and we I eventually rescued by the uh, federal police, and also, um, you know, that night the the Minister of Defense uh, took um, since uh, since there was a emergency of state that time on place. He actually initiated uh, my uh, my rescue, and uh, we, we thanks we for him. Uh, so, so what Sandra. happened to the agent that kidnapped you? Did he, uh, did he go to jail? Eventually, the police actually they were tracking on a GPS on my phone. Eventually, they we they caught him on red handed that he while well, he was actually holding me, um, and he, they took him to the police station. Um, they took me over there too, and I gave them a, a police report. Um, Actually, he confiscated my U.S. passport right away when he when he, when he put me in his car and my uh, personal belongings. Uh, but fortunately, he didn't see in the a small phone that I was carrying that time in my pocket, and that's the, the how they actually tracked me down. And he 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 I mean he was planning. Um, I figured out after I get released that to uh, somebody else to pass me someone else on Abdulis people to take me to Jigjiga, but they figured out that the, all the uh, roads were closed and the federal government uh, tracking me. So um, uh, eventually they caught him on red handed. They took him to the police station. They um, actually arrested him that time, that, that night uh, with his car. And they released him after two days, I believe. And they told me that he was released by, uh, by bail. Mm. And uh, they said we will send his file to the uh, to the federal attorney general, and the and he will go to court. But we believe that he was be, he been released by his bosses that time, because the police station there was a lot of uh, uh, military officials who were mm. coming uh, back and forth and in the morning when I was uh, picking up my passport. And the guy is free now, I believe, in actually in in, in Atsawa. And the, I am requesting federal government of Ethiopia to uh, to get hold of that guy and actually uh, give, uh, take him to the uh, to the court. And I, we believe here in the United States, kidnapping is not a joke. And we b also, I believe in Ethiopia, it's not a joke if they don't make it actually a joke. So, therefore, that guy committed a crime against me and the to and also the uh, against the. Uh, the Ethiopian people and Ethiopian government, therefore, they, ha they should actually take him to, to the court. And also, the Ethiopian uh, um, yeah, American embassy in Addis Ababa uh, took part, part of my rescue that night. And they were actually uh, tracking that case very closely. I met the uh, embassy officials the day after, and uh, they told me they will actually, they will not get pressed unless they get that guy. Uh, get his court day, and they said they will go on uh, diplomatic channels. Mm -hmm. So uh, many, many people believe Abdullah is, you know, the main uh, actor in this uh, conflict. And uh, I think a few days ago, he himself admitted that uh, he was causing this in, under the directive of uh, Getachew Asafa. Uh, today, the Prime Minister, um, I, believe, I believe you hear the Prime Minister's decision to send the armed forces to handle the situation. Um, uh, you know. Among opinions, uh, some believe is that Abdile has a support and removing him uh, will put them in conflict with Somali people. Will Somali people be really angry if Abdile is removed? No, actually, that's a contrary. Uh, the Somali people will be very happy and actually um, the Prime Minister will see the day that Abdile is removed from the office. People will come out freely and they will celebrate and they will thank, thank him um, like the other Ethiopian did, in, uh, did, I can give you a good example. When people are free, I uh, uh, can take an example. On last um, March, people actually come out in, uh, I believe it was Bahardar. You, you will see a festive like that one in Jigjiga and other places of, of, of Somali region. You know, there is, uh, uh, the, I believe, the, we have seen it, some federal officials believe that if Abdila is removed, it's, could be, you know, the Leopolds can actually make havoc on, and make some life difficult. But we, we believe 99% of Somali people are against Abdi Ile. And if the federal government or the uh, Somali people actually get a chance to remove him, 
Um, we believe the peace will come back to uh, that region. And this uh, fighting, I think, will be stopped. And if we get uh, somebody who uh, 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 Somali people actually trust him and also uh, have a good credit with the other Ethiopian uh, neighbors we, uh, in terms of the, of the uh, Somali and Oromo issue, we believe that can be solved if we get a new leader in Somali region. That's our belief, and our people actually believe that. Uh, one argument that comes from the government side is uh, because there is clan division in, among Somalis, and if Abdile is removed, his clan and other Somali clans will fight. Will removing uh, Abdile create a chaos and war among the Somalis? Are Somalis united to get rid of him? Um, I don't think it will create a chaos. I think it will create a unity. And also, it will create a love and the forgiveness that the uh, Dr. Abi, His Excellency, is talking about. Uh, most of the elders, actually, who are sitting now in Addis Ababa, um, are the the tribe actually Abdi'ila is from. Abdi'ila is the um, the, and they are boasting him actually. Um, so Dulmadid is all the uh, Ethiopian Somali clans, and the it will not. Uh, create a chaos, actually it will, it will create an opportunity to unite the people and, the, and also to, uh, to stop the problem. And, uh, uh, and that's actually the propaganda Abdile was using and the, and the other bosses actually before Abi Ahmed came to the power, they used to say Abdile, if we remove Abdile, there was going to be uh, a chaos or something like that. But, uh, you know, as we know, Ethiopia has the, the largest ar armed forces on that area. And uh, nothing will happen actually. Uh, the Liu police will actually take an order from the new uh, officials, so they don't. Um, actually, nobody has to uh, worry about that. Uh, short message to Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and his ministers. Um, his Excellency, Dr. Ab Abiy Ahmed, we were very excited when you got elected. Actually, we did not sleep those days. We were up to the late, and we were actually crossing our fingers that somebody like Dr. Abi Ahmed will be, uh, will be elected. Um, we thank to uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Lama Margasa, who gave him, um, he actually um, gave all Ethiopians an opportunity that Dr. Abi Ahmed could be a prime minister uh, when he actually uh, resigned his post and actually uh, bring uh, Dr. Abi on the, on the chair of the OPDO. Um, our people are very excited. Those who are actually getting killed on both sides, on Somalis and Oromo, are people who celebrated the, the night, the day actually you, you get elected. Um, and they lost actually their life last few days, or last few weeks, actually hundreds of them. Um, we would like you to, and also before I go that, I would like to add it, um, the Human Rights Watch report uh, Ethiopian federal government did not say a word. You know, the, uh, the former officials before Dr. Abi Ahmed, th th at least they, they used to say something and they used to deny. This time, the government was silent. They didn't say nothing. And still, the Human Rights Watch and other human rights and actually people of Ethiopia are waiting um, somebody to be uh, account, uh, uh, and hold and accountable for the atrocity has been committed in jail Awadin and some other places. So, uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, we are waiting you, your response for that one. And also, we are waiting you to, uh, to see our elders and our uh, leaders who are opposing to I mean, Abdi Ile and uh, sitting actually in Finfinne last three months. And the, you know, uh, if I go back a little bit on, on time when the, uh, when the Somali elders come to Finfinne or at Salva, uh, any government, they used to actually see them right away. I can t give you a good example on Haile Selassie time. Uh, when they come, the Somali elders come, they used to go to the Beit right right away. But this time, the Prime Minister knows that the elders are actually waiting to see him. But unfortunately, we believe uh, people who work for Abdi Ile and the other uh, deep state people are preventing the Prime Minister to see our elders. Uh, I'm among those uh, actually who flew from United States to Ethiopia, and we spent a lot of US dollars to, to actually go there. And the, when he called on his, his first speech that the diaspora come back to their country, and uh, we, um, 
we met our elders actually waiting over there. We tried our best to see uh, our beloved prime minister, but it didn't happen. So we are expecting him to see them and also to tell if he's not I mean, ready to remove Abdi'ile at this time for, for whatever reason. We don't know what that reason is to at least to tell him knock it out or stop killing people, arresting people and also allow people to go back to their homes without fear. And, and, and I can give you an, another example in Jigjiga where actually uh, the day that the, the Dr. Abi was elected, I called Jigjiga and I was asking them how the people actually received the, the message. They said even we cannot talk about it because they've been told the OLF guy was elected, therefore, um, you know, the, the sky will come down on, on them. So people didn't, even didn't, didn't get a chance to actually to celebrate that day, and still they didn't get to celebrate to, uh, for their new prime minister. There was a one stage, actually, uh, demonstration that Abdi Ile um, uh, actually called for one day, and that was actually, he was, he was trying to show them that he's, he has a support, but he was actually uh, picking people from their home by force, and, and also telling them if, his fear was actually if something went wrong and people actually go against him to demonstrate because hundreds of thousands of people come to that place, he was telling them that your family will suffer and we're going to actually extinguish uh, your family, therefore even don't think about it. Um, so we, we would like the, uh, the Prime Minister actually to at least say knock it out and stop uh, and allow people actually uh, go to their homes. When we went to Ethiopia, we couldn't go to Jigjia because if we go, we will be killed or, 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 or worse. Mm. And the, um, he succeeded too many times actually to kidnap people from Addis Ababa. Um, he I just arrested a member of uh, regional parliament? Yes, he did. And also, I would like to um, add it that he created a new um, youth that he called Hego, and they are actually terrorists. They are terrorist group, they are terrorizing people in, in Fifinde. Um, you know, our elders and Dulum did had a, a meeting the other day in Friendship Hotel in Atsaba, and they come with the uh, ladies uh, who are member of the parliament, federal parliament of Ethiopia, and actually they start actually punching people on their faces. These are members of parliament punching people? Yes, they come to that place and they were giving the orders to, you know, the kids, I mean, the, the youth that use to, to punch, you know, uh, and actually they've been arrested on the federal parliament members and they've been released. And, uh, and uh, the, the, you know, there's another information that we have. They send a lot of people with the, with the guns mm. and, and, you know, knives to kill people. And actually they post it on their, uh, the, on, the, on, their, on, the, on their Facebooks. Therefore, we, uh, we called those uh, guys uh, are terrorists and they need to actually disband and uh, some, uh, most of them actually are new police who actually just come uh, with the, uh, you know, plain clothes to Atsaba. And uh, the other day I was, I was calling them that the, uh, it's a youth that Hitler actually uh, uh, created on Second World War II, uh, the Hitler Youth, youth uh, Group. This is the, the Abdi'ilai uh, Youth Group and uh, they need to be uh, disbanded and actually uh, he's spending a lot of money for those guys uh, to create a problem within uh, Somali region and outside of Somali region. Uh, thank you, Kader. I will uh, just pass a short message and I will give you to uh, do the same in Somali. Sure. I think this conflict, as you uh, perfectly explained, uh, it's not a conflict between Somali and Oromo. I don't have to explain that. It's a conflict um, uh, created by Abdile to stay in power and also by the TPLF uh, intelligence and the military uh, people. Uh, that was a case just, uh, last year. It is a case this year. Uh, Abdile has been uh, threatened by the protest in Somali region to distract uh, the Somali people from getting rid of him. He wants to create external enemy for them, obviously the Oromos. Uh, of course, uh, deep state people, the, the intelligence officers and the military officers who have been uh, sucking the blood of Somali people and also robbing the region and using the region as a gateway for uh, contraband are doing this uh, one to fight against Abi's reform and also uh, to ensure the flow of money through that region will continue. Uh, the, my message to Somali people uh, and to Somali users, look, uh, I can speak for all Oromos and no Oromo sees Somalis as their enemies uh, and no Oromo blames uh, any Somali other than Abdi Ali 
for uh, what is happening to uh, both sides of the people. Abdullah killed what some thirty thousand people, uh, Somalis, before he came to killing the Oromos. Therefore, uh, we have no uh, enmity with the Somali people. We have no uh, problem with the Somali uh, people of uh, elsewhere. I was in Nairobi. I met with Somali leaders, civic, religious, and business leaders. Uh, the, everybody wants this uh, to end, uh, and uh, for our Keros and for our Oromo people, uh, they already know. Uh, but I want to repeat that. Uh, Somalis inside Oromia or outside Oromia are our friends, our brothers. They need to be protected. They they are suffering worse than us. And, and in fact, uh, if Somali uh, use uh, the Barbarta or any of them cross to Oromia, they need to be protected. They need to be saved from uh, this evil man. And uh, we are with you as you fight to regain your freedom. The only place where, <laughs> where protest is not allowed in Ethiopia today is the Somali region. The only place where political prisoners remain, where members of parliament are jailed, is the Somali region. The Somali region remains a hell within Ethiopia. Uh, Oromia, Amhara, South has regained some level of freedom. They, 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 nobody goes around and arrest you and beat you and kill you like in the Somali region. So we, are, uh, we join hands with you to... Uh, put prayer on the federal government and also to share our experience of fighting dictators to help you uh, regain your freedom and uh, gain your uh, autonomy within the uh, Somali region. I know Abdile propagates that Oromos want to remove them and appoint their papers. No, we don't want that. We want the Somali people to have a full autonomy, a full uh, uh, self-administration and work with us to create regional integration, economic integration, and interdependence. The Somali economy and the Hararge economy, the Bali economy, the Borona economy is uh, highly interdependent. We, you know, the, the region have been suffering not only human loss, but also economic loss over the last two years because of this senseless war Abdullah has been waging. This war needs to end. Uh, the major obstacle to this is Abdullah. Uh, the, the federal government must remove him. If the federal government refuse, we will devise a strategy, people to people, to get rid of him. Then we will convene a, a, a conference on, on reconciliation between the border communities. And it will not take us long for Somali intellectuals and for Somali elders to, uh, to uh, bridge the gap and to bring peace and to restore uh, order in our region. And after that, we move towards uh, building a stronger economy, stronger social ties across the border. As you say, there is really no border. There is only administrative boundary. And, and our people uh, have history of living together for a long time. And we will restore that. And we will have a greater days together. And our, uh, this, but this conflict must stop. We must, you know what Abdul is doing right now is, instead of sending the police uh, with, with uh, uniform, he's sending uh, them without uniform. They, uh, they pretend to be Somali civilians. They attack uh, the, the people across in the Romeo border, and they run away and agitating the Oromos in the border to retaliate against civilians in Somali region. Uh, hundreds of civilians on both sides have died. It's very sad. The Oromos on the border need to stop the conflict. They need to stop uh, any attack. And the Somalis also need to make sure the EU police does not use them as a base to uh, wage uh, conflict. And uh, we must work uh, on this regard. And uh, I, I join you in calling on the federal government to, to, to stop this. And if they fail, uh, we'll, do, we'll, get it, we'll get it done. After all, we have getting rid of Wayani, and getting rid of uh, Abdiela is not going to be that difficult. Now I will give you a chance uh, to pass a short message uh, uh, in Somali to uh, our Somali-speaking people. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Brother Jawar. Uh, before I speak in Somali, uh, I want to mention one thing. Abdiela was the uh, sent a report to the Ethiopian uh, television the other night that he released all the prisoners except the rapist and the <laughs> and the murderers. And, and that's actually, and the, and the Ethiopian uh, Broadcasting uh, Corporation, or TV, were uh, actually giving people as a fact, which is actually very far from the fact. I know hundreds of people, personally I know, that are still in jail. Uh, most of the educated people are in jail. Um, our, most of the people who thinks that who Abdili thinks actually that is opposing his regime, or even think that they may actually oppose one day, still in jail. Uh, he released some people, uh, but actually a majority of people are still in that jail. So um, the federal government should know better. Better um, if they know and if they are ignoring, it's a tragedy. And if they don't know and the, they don't have any. Uh, 
uh, intelligence actually serves in our area, it's also an, another tragic. So uh, the federal government is failing on that part. Um, they did not, like I said before, they did not say a word about the Human Rights Watch report. They need to, see, to say something. And they, they have to actually, the federal government and Dr. Abiy has to uh, you know, hold someone accountable. Otherwise, that black uh, dot will be on his, uh, actually on his, uh, on his watch. Uh, number two, I would like to talk to the um, Ethiopian Somalis who are actually working for the, f for the federal government, especially on the ministers. Um, you need to say something about the conflict, and also you need to say something about the atrocity that Abdi Ile is, is actually uh, causing to our people. Uh, we know that Abdi Ile uh, actually nominate you to be uh, uh, part of the uh, selection, uh, uh, the people who be, s be selected by, the, by Dr. Abi Ahmed. But um, if you work for Abdi Ile, you're going to go when he, Abdi Ile actually goes. If you work for, the, for your people, you need to say something about that, especially I would like to take this opportunity and talk to directly to Ahmed Shide, which I know him, uh, he's a decent guy, I uh, know him very well, and he was working um, on the in and out from the federal government and the state, and now he's the communication uh, uh, minister of Ethiopia. So he's the one very close to the Dr. Abiy Ahmed. Um, Ahmed Shide, uh, uh, we will uh, kindly request from you to pass. We know Dr. Abiy Ahmed is aware of what's going on, but since you are actually um, speaking on behalf of the Ethiopian government, you need to say something about the Human Rights Watch uh, report and also to pass our uh, grievances to Prime Minister. And you have to arrange an immediate meeting with our elders and intellectuals who are in Adsaba. Abdul Medid chairman is there um, and, uh, and, and the high officials from Abdul Medid and Abdul Medid is also uh, local Abdul Medids are, are there. So. Um, I would like to take that, this opportunity directly to Ahmed Shide and the other ministers of Somalis. Um, this time I will say something on a uh, little bit on a uh, statement on Somali. And Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Halka wa hanta asi oga dreyna. The man that he could in tay and the the baton so aswana tay. Ye that he horaba. And markan aragnay image ska social smart media hal so gelnay. Runti wahanu no got a garan, Marcan Aragna Islamo, Yaru, that Lalena yo, and Marca Arancasi in Istago, Barrabna, Wahan Mant, how can we meet? In and Lahadalo, Labada Pomio, the Somad, your mother, Labadawa, and Ankurahalo, Afco, the Afcoda, or Andano, that Walla Tihin, or Walla Dashe, or Sdale, or Ehela, or Melwed again, or Marti, Uliba de Marti genetically Scumida. Therefore, Wahan Len Hai, Dr. Somali, Aban Anu Wahan Lahalaya, Kuli, Brother Jawar also will speak to Oromo uh, community in Afan Oromo. Um, Wahanu Bahan Hai, Dagalkan Unu Istago, Dagalkan Wa Enu Istaga, and Inti Marite Kudimate Lahaun Haris to enter Dawa An Elaha Afio, Dagalkan Dogal Korshaisan, or Hawaiian Ukadam Bey and Ukadam Bey Abdili. Yo kohdi marta wadan ka mamulay say waha sir ka na mar horala si plant gireye abur horala si sameye weye marki hal milyan iya inka badan o orama alaga qahina ye guriyo hoda and waha inu garanay na ina arinka say aykeenik doonta awa qib humo tiba maanta taagan wala lehen orama waha lana hay datka soa maalada wa datki ni inaad ila lisaan ba loo bahan yahay o aydaan laynin and o ad marak tay ad unu xarisa taan datka masakin taa أما إذا كنا حنول أما درس كإذا لا أن هدي دجال مركا ماشوا جرو عدي ما أرتى قربة أما دجال لما يسموا يدخل الشعب كأ إن أدبت بعد سام بعد إذا كعد سنة إن حق سوام هذا نروح لين هاي دتك ورام دتك ورمضة يوم الله هنا دتك جرو دلقى حيي إن السوق عليه هدو إلى هاي له هدو مركا عبدي لي لقدر مفكره باور كأ إن جرو دك صار نقدان إن مركا ولا لمدة نينا أي صار نقطه بلو بهاي هاي دولت دحان نروح لين هاي and Hanu Eganina, Ruayedi at Kadle Sen, and they at Trahden, Ruaya wooden Ketri, Ruayedi, I know when I only Hanu Eganina, Marka Hanu Bahan, I do that I in a Arkas, I saw for a Giliso, when I in a military law, the rail like him, we saw Dahan, had there no any Talavakatan, 
oo ay ka hadlaan xuquuqul insaanka dhibaatooyinka ka jiray iyo xayabiyi kala aadna wad mahadsantiin hadana waxaan ku wareejinayaa brother Jawaar Muhammad Thank you uh, hopefully uh, Yasmin will translate for me later on uh, I will just say a short message in Afan Romo umma ne kenya je gumsi ro ma umma me lol liga bi bharayan umma me wan haramti wan me ega turre maddi rakko kana humno talama toko ko barde ngadda humno ni tipelef kada me ne genya tifi da me military case juran bara dabre angoro turudaf wan kar gora turani angoro turudaf akasuma samich na no somaleti state danga sirat godan etif sudaf godani bara kana mo erga taita rabu amboda danta di ne geti fi olantuma sani ay sudaf jijira fi fenet ru fujura kana jiru kana la fi sudaf kumero daddat yenetti mishigi sadi kabani mishigi into ko kana noti kala mafa mo toma federalati kan sadaf kan makale da kabani makaletti e gol guru amboda yodan dian oromia ke sadi je kum sumu barbadani yo kan dadda banta te mo ka option la matati jijiga made taka hu mishigi bira gora tari achi raje kum su umura fi alaka turan wal itimat turre halisun mil kayfi kesattu lafina motuma federal ter rakan kay bi faharan lola ge gesani namone di bataman ajje samajira ni torban da brekana kesatti ajje chankun gama ke nyako fason tay gama hundanu mida gudda tu kanga hajiru ajje chankun da bachu kaba ajje chakana lolli kun akka da batu mangudum biya halana no sari to achu ro barbaisani motuman federala warana ni ergina jari jirani so yero da aftari yo kan dabsu ta tingale worumma warana kan ge gesa jiru makala kha ke so ro jirani fi dehnati ke so wan jira wan tanif rakko kan ni fura jenne nabdannu furma ni rakko kana kan umman ni romo so manni somale serratti wali galo ko jira taate maddi war wa yano taati fi so taate harka taaye qotto taaye kan nama ke nyachi rajiru rammat somale ti chirajiru addi leeda abdi ile angor ra busun dirqa ma rakko kan furu yo ka barbaada mutaate gara biratti le kuba kabun barba chesu ibiddarra ti bidna ko nisin barba chesu makala kana no sanit ergun ibiddarra ti bidna ko inumahu control hara isani fkan no wanta tefi sunilen ane format na ti fakatu format ne jiru abdile angorra kasur abdile angorra kasur af tari sududa motuman federala hindan dan ko jer mutates ummani somale ofirra kasur af kopin ummani somale hayyon ni manguddon hayyon ni amanti dibsa di oltan ka manguddo chana da balate bi alat rais da gani nano somale ra da gani fibinet abdile tanse akami bibul chirka jo gosti hundi wali galte jirte chu abdile fra ka suda kana motu ma fedara ti tu itilafate jira male abdile fra bu suda ummani ti finchile jira manguddo ngosa hunda tu yerra wal ge se jirti abdile fra ka sun barba chisada yo kan in motu ma fedala hinkaf ne ka sun barba ne ta te garu nuti ummata somale wajin obleyen ke somale wajin tane abdile fra ka fna yechu malif hamdile na chiturun diga ummata kenya gamala chusu ji sajira diga gama kenya ummata kenya ji su qofa sontane gar wal waras hamatitti gar bi yidigu tidde majira kana motuma federala sawa fede fu yo kar ka har ki fatutate e nu gama kenya ummata kenya somale birada banne gar garre na makana efra kasun obuluma ummata somale ti foro motif jireñ ummata kenya dan garra ti barba isawan tef kan de mo gamna khanaf man ke jidan garra obsun ife genno cima gochun hata tu garu je kum sa isan itti nama feran kana ra ife ko sachun akasumas ke satu ke ron kenya fi umman kenya ke satu somalo ta oromia ke jiran fi umma kenya ke jiran akan tu ine ti famu da gaban je kum so gudda umra karu ra gaban ro ammati je kum so gudda danga ke satti ethiopia ke satti ko fu sontaa te kenya ke satti somalia ke satti djibouti ke satti even bi alatti min hoda di bi landani tele je kum so umra fu kopi wan gaban fi kan hunda jala fashal sufi obulum maf jalalli ummata somali tv ummata ken kan romo heddu jabachu da gaba jero jino je cha jira kuma gartani ti nairobi so ganda ke mari gudda da gora turre graful duras fi fine ganda ku jero jini mari gona abdile ga kaf ne boda madan wujuddu tu umte kana madan wujuddu di din ni abdile fo yanen nutti uman kana ko rifanne akka ada duri titti gumadan fitanne nanno sanetti arare akabu ararat anse man ke nya dina gensa wala ter kata da dina gensa wala ter kata kana jabe fate akka walin guddatu umman ni lamanku ummata dabaw dan daw miti ummata aramiti ogashan tamdura umman ni somale wara daho ke nya turen wajji jira cha ture wara gafa biyate nya ra aryamnu kana fa ya bismillahi beiti ya chidalatte gafa biyate nya ra aryamne mananu ta yech umman ni hun ummata arra wayane nusila wolol chisu qabdu miti ummata gafa rakko te nya gafa sernonni amadura qeran waryan 
هرگیست جیگتی ساتاتو مقدیشوتی بکوت هد دوتی نمیل کنی آرل نمیل کنی تو کار انجام یه چول آرل نمیل کنی هد دوتو بیبی سومالی که زیرا کناف جای کم سکه برنگ داده سنو دیو سوراف دیمانی سونا کنو تین دیو نه نمک کنی که بیا کنی که ایسه جرو که ایسه تو نمک سومالی بیه تینی که ایسه جرو هد دو هد دو تیسو هد دو هد دو کنون سو گرنه گوش چوره بر باچی سا گرا فول دو ازیت مو ولو باچی سا تی کن دیم نو کناف ایون نی نفی و گرنه نی سومالی ولین فرمات فرو رفرد دلگو جرانی هوا اس نی کنی اف درگ گونی باربارتا گم سومالی تی فی که روم کنی مو هد دروم مالن اکوما کپسور رت فینی سایران ولی توم سو دافی ول گرگارو ماله ولی تیبون هد دو کمبر باچی می که ایسه تو مقالو تک با بیل Magalu tak dengar jiran, akses untuk magalu tak kedirida, magalu tak moyel lekhi seti. Namun kenya, walau tibu sudah fiyali head dua koran moyel itu mirkaya ni jirani. Dirida ti alani mil koine, akam mil koine, hair dua red dalagu kabani kabdani. Nulain hor dofne isin buat chiefna. Yasmin afal lecuh beiti isin yadan bukan ni. So we'll conclude by giving opportunity to our sister Yasmin. Yasmin, I call her the ambassador, the double ambassador between Oromo and Somali. She was born in, she was born in Argeisa. She was born in Argeza and she is fluent in Somali and Absolutely. she is uh, yes. fluent in Oromo. Every time there is a trouble between the two communities, she is the one who comes and wakes me up here and, uh, and uh, takes action. Yes. I will give her a uh, last yes. chance to say uh, in both Somali and Oromo. She's uh, our sister. Before uh, Yasmin says, I would like to talk to the Prime Minister about the his upcoming uh, yes. visit here in, in, in Minnesota. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome to the United States. Uh, Somali community, uh, the, largest, the largest Somali community is the actually one of the largest uh, diaspora in the United States uh, from Africa. Uh, it's, um, you know, when we actually, um, all the Somalis about, is about 250, quarter million more in the United States. And in, in only Ethiopian Somalis are about 50,000 actually who lives in the United States and the big number on this uh, Twin Cities. I will welcome you with open, open arms. We come to your, uh, uh, to your actually office. Uh, we didn't get an opportunity to meet you, but we will welcome you here in up on, uh, you know, open, open arms. And the, if you meet our elders, that will make actually life easier for, for us. And also, we are kindly requesting from you to bring to justice those who are actually behind this atrocity. And also, the, uh, the genocide has been committed by, uh, you know, by, uh, from the, uh, all over the, uh, over all over the Ethiopia, especially in the Somali region, and the, that will actually make uh, our people uh, even excited when you come here. If we have that, inf uh, that information actually before you come to the United States, that will make our festive even more. But, uh, but I'm a member of the organizing committee here in Minneapolis, uh, and the and we will do everything we can this event to be a successful. Thank you very much, and uh, God bless you, uh, Galatoma. Thank you. Thank you, Galatoma. Ani wani nje chuo barbado gafie kana dro jawar singa va chuo fada hala ama abdi ili ni tujuro kana wana kuwa na manu e gele miti wani yaro tiko na ma kenyawa ng albi chapa se tujura ati se dura soite khadari sara dubate. Nurut itu terjadi di spesial ni hara hara lagi kanan cenak sayur lalte mie sayur lalte babili lalte hara oli kanan ini sila balai boran aku jadi kanan cuma nampi gujar radu ujra gujar amat dengan daya presiden elektria dufu nampi abdi ini nanti kita kaji expect kode hinjur spesial ni awas ni orang mau cokoi nampi gujar radu sa dengar rabu sa wani ni korang kangkas terum mana makar sesi like Mal nak buat ni memal fikir ni tak kaya cokai je. Biar tiennya kaya seti, lepas kaya kaya seti. Fim finne ini presiden ti orang mian lama, mager saat ini. Prime Minister Dr Abi Ahmad cina kaya seti dapat cusan. Nama kaya ni dua tidak gefa me, dua disappoint juga se. Oh gu akan lah tu halak kan? Ni kaya seti dafare, cip kaya seti lufono. Akau arif kaya kaya seti cafare. Gemacu urat digi sunu fakat cokai jasa untuk tazir rejuru. Nama kaya ni buka. Mal se fakat aku jasa ni ni kaya seti cie afirami tu fungkun. Jadi ni dua fasa gafat. Gafat itu dua orang kita terima mesti. Amak aku sangat ingin gafat. Aku mahu dua filem yang nabi yang najis jika dah. Dakun wang gari tu, mesti somali. Garu, garu syaitan akan awat jin walham matani. Akan si koflun rakwa matif buat rata. Gafat dua berdeh tu. Abdilin nama nama miti. He's an evil man. Isa akan si ti matani awat jin najis jika cafarun sun. Tufi ni tufacis. Human fidan. Umat umat Somalia gara-gara yang kata ni human fidan. 
mutum mana jijiram tu malay anu matu sendi itu jadi tidak ada tutur aja cuk. Ammas lufe finnetti saniasis kopi ada darat amma fa Sheikh kota hujan dah bateri, Sheikh kota kesan tu jin dah bateri tu ni gua dah tutur aja cuk. Wanin ni gua dah tutur sun. Wanak jolle childish fakar tu jenis. Garu nama cikun nama lafah mana wanak kena hana serit nama beku. Ummat terret, ummat terasa terret psychological warfare gua dojir. Human fit dani. Eh, uno akan beli sewa yang ini jari orang tu kapa jarak ini orang mau di mana jujur. Ogo ini dia sangat watak kan gua undan dan je cajur. Orang mau mana dino? Uno orang mau duftus tigreng kute orang mau duftus arka kenyang jira ni. Erga akala dekan. Dapat sujuru. Kau ni serious mistake mistake aku dah ada. Orang ni nani mata kenyang himu berbadu. Orang opidi office himu berbadu. Abdilah kau afton kasa. Lakon mad rakom madi. Malas afi Abdilah orang mau nama olkita nuraja sanjat cujan deh. Nama itu kau ni, bara warga turban dapat kerana dilolol rubbane, yau tak kata nama kau macam ni, oleh dulu. Gama gama kenyang raga, gama somali terlena kasih. Nama kau kau sedom oleh jesse, nama somali ter nama kau. I don't think, I don't think Malas has killed as many people as Abdullah has killed over last twenty seven years. I don't think so. You know, yes Malas was a dictator, yes he was a tyrant, but Abdullah killed more people in Somali region and in Romania than Malas they now can have. Uh, dancing with a with a killer like that is um, right. it's not right. It has to stop. You can cast and take cast and cast. Who are Nangaru? Who are there? Who are there? Who We will get rid of him. Kanaf. Nis demo an kabuf erga ke afan le chuba du. Nis demo chuba badu. Hawa sa kanya ka Somali tu ka oromo tifi ka Somali tu. Wa unda dubne wa unda rahaso ine. Tar kam firam fulo chuk amna serious action supposed to take on Abdille. Wanita saudara nunjuk tu, itu orang dah bantu nuti amo. Hawas tak kan? Amni walin dabina, walin lolina, walit tegara galian tu walat jesson kamu. Ini isafi, tipe lefi tu wang kan ada lagu jural liu polisi dah. Hawas nak sabar kan? Walit dabrun kamu. Wajib tu kota tani firal orang kuk abdani Somali. Fi orang mau jinin, wari biyala jertani lian khas jur Somali nis orang mau nis. نمو دبن نفنا نفكاتا سجنتا لما بدأت تانجا ونفزني ده بنو. أفضل سومالي. سومالي ناو حيرم بنا قانا ويقول لهم إيه سوري أنا قدت كيجا مسلم أو سومالي أو أرما إن استر رماها إن مدن قنويان عبد الله وحنا ودنا شقينا يا أو سمينا يا قدت كيجا ما قدت كأرما ما أرما ده سومالي ده مدي للربتو سومالي ده أرما ده مد مدي للربان قدت كسكو مده النهاي إن استر رماها إن ود شقنويان استقرب استغنو uh, I will say one word in Amharic. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot you speak Amharic. <laughs> yeah. Say. <laughs> um, uh, this is actually to to the our blood Prime Minister. Kuru Taklai Minister Achin. This message is to you. Um, Ethiopia Somali his ke oromo ke oromo na lela Ethiopia beher beher sevoch la madamber zigujunain. We yanti your message. Of fikir anda net nak lemah demar, lemah demar zikir jinain, gin kaum bafit dia alkut negar nabbara. Anda so ke itu perhiz makan nasi lebat. Ya abdi ilai makan nasi lebat ke itu perhiz. Isu katak anda se, hulum ida mamral sila zee wul inyano minhono. Sila zee abdi ilai ke itu perhiz society mak 